What's going on guys? This is Giovanni from Spy Options Trading here with a new video, TGIM, Real Talk Mondays. Today's November 5th, 2018. First of all, we are done with the drawing. The drawing polls are closed. You had your opportunity. You had your chance to get my signals, to enter the drawing, to get my signals, um, get an hour of my time. We can talk stocks. I can help you set it all up. Said and done. You had your chance. Thank you everybody that entered that drawing. I'll announce the uh, three winners on Wednesday in two days on November 7th. So let's get right down to it. Real talk Mondays. I think I'm going to do this every Monday. Just talk about sort of my issues uh, as well as your guys' issues. What we're battling through, what we're doing good on and whatnot. Let's start off with saying that I didn't trade today. I have been battling uh, through a couple of personal issues when it comes to trading gosh it just I, I i can't tell you enough like how just down on myself i am how disappointed i am you've all heard of fomo fear of missing out well i have full i i don't know if i just made up that term or whatnot but i have full f-o-l fear of losing that is my issue i don't know if it's my trading account um size or i i don't know what it is i can't explain to you i have a fear of losing big on a trade the first thing that that comes to mind is do you have your exit strategy i have an exit strategy for bad signals i have an exit strategy for winning signals for a winning trade i've said this over and over and over and over again i still have a lot to work on when it comes to my exits on a profitable trade and i'm going to continue to work on that but i don't take trades out of fear of losing on those trades i don't know what it is i think that on a personal level, I lost more today had I bought into the trade that I was looking at and me actually losing on that trade, losing money. I lost more today than not trading it when I didn't trade it. I'm scared. Like that's, there's no substitution for the truth. Like I'm scared. I'm scared at, uh, for, you know, my, my pride. I'm scared for my ego, I guess. I don't know. Um, I don't know what it is. But I do have to work through this, guys. This is Real Talk Mondays. This is why I want to start doing this. I want to tell you, show you what I'm doing wrong, what I need to work on, what I'm doing right. Think my thoughts. And also, you guys, please comment down below what you guys are struggling with, what you guys are currently having issues with, troubles with, uh, what you're doing right, what you think um, you really are doing right in your trading strategy, in your trading plan. I'm not saying that my strategy is a holy grail because it isn't. I will never pretend uh, to, or I will never say that it is the holy grail, but I think personally, it's a really good strategy. I have a very um, sort of defined entry and I have a very defined exit uh, on, on bad signals and then also on winning signals, you know, 10%, 5 to 10%, I'm out. Sometimes they move quite a bit. Let me show you really quick the, uh, the trade that I didn't take. Liking Apple here. I like it, but I'm not getting in quite yet. Uh, my parameters are there. It's it's hitting those parameters, but without a doubt now, Apple puts you could have made money on those Apple puts. That signal right there, that very first one. Man, that looks so good. Didn't trade it out of fear uh, because of that report because the markets were trending a little on the uh, to the upside. So I was worried that it was going to turn around, but it worked. It worked. Uh, my criteria was there. Um, just didn't have the uh, courage to actually trade it. There it is, guys. It was Apple. I saw the trade and I had the finger on, on, on the uh, trigger to buy, market buy. Conservatively speaking, I could have bought as high as $4.75. And in that quick little pop, um, you could have gone, you know, maybe 10, 15 cents. Not a big deal. But had you held even through my exit strategy on bad signals, those puts went up to $7.26. Ooh, I know, I know, I know. And then also on Facebook, my criteria met uh, on, on a good signal on Facebook and it actually would have gone against you for a little bit. It wouldn't have gotten you out per my exit strategy uh, on a bad signal. And had you held through it, you would have made some money on there too. So there were two good trades to, to be made, not on SPY, but on Facebook and Apple. So with that, a little bit of motivation. I have I have big hopes, big dreams, uh, and that I want to accomplish big goals that I want to accomplish next year, 2019. 
um, which uh, entails, um, you know, quitting my, my day job, it's going to take a lot. Like that's, that in itself is, I, I need to make a lot, a lot of winning trades, not necessarily dollar, dollar wise. Once I'm really comfortable with my strategy, I'm making consistent uh, trades. I think I'm going to be okay. But anyways, um, it comes with quitting my day job because this is what I love doing. I love trading. I love making videos. It's, it makes me feel alive. So I have to go after my dreams. I have to go after uh, my strategy. I have to execute my strategy each and every day. Uh, let's not get stupid. Let's not get, um, you know, let's not forget that we have rules, trading rules and abide by those rules. And then I think I'm going to be just fine, just fine. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching here and listening, listening to my uh, rants, listening to my sorrows. Um, call it what you will, but it it really helps me to tell everybody up front and get those 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 feelings out, those opinions, what what's in my head out out there for you guys to view and uh, comment down below, guys. I, I like when there's interaction. Comment down below what you thought about this video. Um, what I what you think that I could do to improve my trading strategy. I don't know it all, guys. I never will um, know it all. There are thousands and thousands, millions of people out there that know more than I do. Um, please help me out, guys. Help me out. Get over this slump. I have a good um, idea, good strategy in my head. I want to continue it. Let me know what I can do better. Let me know how I can help you too. Send me an email at spyoptionstrading at gmail.com. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you, you're having a hard time with. We'll get it done, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button, like and share my videos, and uh, let's make some money tomorrow, guys. Thank you so much for watching.